How's your day starting? I always start the camera when I'm in the dark. Hi, hello. Hold on, let me get into the light of my office. Oh, roll right. Good morning. Don't worry, I cleaned up the glass. Everything is fine. Wearing a little cute top from Old Navy. How cute is she? Didn't do my nails last night, I know. I would say that's not a good sign, but I ended up working till about nine. And then as you saw, if you watched yesterday's video, I was so tired that I ended it in the dark. <laughs> but I am running around today like crazy. I have meetings on meetings on meetings and I'm fingers crossed that I can go to the gym. Um, but I also told Thomas's EA that if he looks like he's getting more sick to text me, I'll go pick him up and take him to the walk-in. I don't, it's not the cold that concerns me, it's the chance of ear infection and that also the fact that he can't tell me is really like, obviously daunting and nerve wracking. So, um, but I have so much work <laughs> before a meeting in 40 minutes. So, nope, less than 40 minutes, so I'm gonna get to it. It's much later, it's 4.30, feels like 8.30, <laughs> as expected. There was nothing to show you today and Obviously, I'm going to take this off and take my jeans off, take my pants off. Uh, let's see if I can change in front of you again without you getting a show. I, like, meetings all day, had a tea with Vanessa, which was really nice. And during one of my meetings, I felt this, like, horrific migraine coming on. And I was like, oh, no, here we go. Because if you're new here, I used to get migraines, like, with every period. A migraine so bad I have to take a day off work. So I am no stranger to migraines. But when I gave up meat and dairy, they stopped. Like, it's so rare for me to get a migraine. And now I can nip them in the bud. And now I just have like a very mild headache, which I think could be solved with some stretching or some yoga. So, just a tip, if you get migraines, try giving up meat and dairy, because every period I used to have like such a bad one. I couldn't turn the lights on, I was in so much pain, I would throw up like every 45 minutes or an hour, it was awful. And now if I get one, I had one recently, but it was due to stress and I hadn't had one in like probably a year or two. So today when I felt it coming on, I now do a few things when I feel a headache coming on. I take Motrin, obviously, but like when I used to get headaches, like I could have eaten those like candy, like a whole bottle and it would have done nothing. I use Past Tense by doTERRA, which if you don't know what that is, it's amazing. It's an essential oils blend that you put on your forehead and behind your ears and your neck but it's like, I put it on at the restaurant today and like nobody could have known. Vanessa did say I smelled good. But you, it's not like it's an oil that like makes you look gross. So that really helps. And drinking a lot of water. And then I've talked about this a million times, but Yoga with Adrienne has this video. It's like yoga for headaches. And she does this breathing and it really helps me. So, anywho, I was able to get rid of my headache pretty much, which was great, because I started to feel like nauseous, like I was getting a migraine, and I got a text from Thomas's EA saying like, you should probably take him to the walk-in. I was like, oh God, this can be terrible. But, all good. Managed to at least subside, get rid of the migraine, and just like have a headache, which is no big deal. So I picked up Thomas from, Thomas from school a little bit early, took him to the walk-in, took maybe like an hour, and they have Wi-Fi, which was fine, so he just watched my YouTube on my phone. Not my YouTube, he watched YouTube on my phone. And the doctor said, like, also if you're new here, I like to pick the greatest light to talk to you in. Um, the doctor said, his ear with his cochlear implant looks fine and his ear with his hearing aid is like a little bit red, like a tiny bit concerning. He said normally he wouldn't prescribe an antibiotic, but because I'm so conscious about um, ear infections with Thomas, he gave me a week's worth of antibiotics. So if you're new here, 
or you've just never heard me talk about it, I have to be super aware of Thomas getting an ear infection. There's just no good lighting in my bedroom. <laughs> Um, because if he were to get an ear infection, there is a chance that he could um, lose the hearing in his right ear, which is the ear with his um, hearing aid. And in the middle of that riveting story, my camera battery died. So it's now much later, as you can probably tell by the state of my face. But I'm gonna finish that story because I just left you hanging. Well, I didn't because it was one second. Anywho, um, let me just try and prop you up. If he were to get an ear infection, there's a chance he could lose his hearing so much on his hearing aid side that he would have to get a cochlear implant. That is Thomas's future. Like, it's basically just a question of when, not if, because his hearing loss is progressive. But obviously, I would like to stop. <laughs> the progression as long as possible. And if he gets a hearing aid in his cochlear implant side, there's a chance he could lose his implant. Like people have lost their CIs because of infection. So I'm very mindful. I go to the walk-in frequently in the winter and I'm literally just like, can you look in his ears? And today the cochlear implant side was fine, but the hearing aid side had like a tiny bit of red. And he said like ordinarily I wouldn't prescribe antibiotics, but because we're so mindful and because of the like dire um, chances, we got antibiotics. So it's good. They're super good. Um, I like the walk-in clinic that we go to. It's great. We do have a GP, but like his wait time is way longer and it's a drive and anyways so we did that and then um, I had two marathoners message me saying that they went to something pretty today which I thought was amazing one got the brunette the label sweater that says blonde and then another one said she bought stuff for her nieces I think she says so that was great uh, that's where this sweatshirt's from that everyone asks me about. And then I saw, this is Okanagan Lifestyle, that they have winter stuff coming out. I was like, oh my god. Anyway, now I'm gonna wash my face, and then I need to do my nails. I just really don't want to, I'm tired. I just put Thomas to bed, I'm just waiting to hear if he falls, excuse me, falls asleep. I had a really nice, like, two hour, excuse me, phone conversation with Jess, my wife which was lovely, um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna take it easy. I know today's video was like pretty <sighs> lacking in content, but I hope you get some like good suggestions when it comes to getting headaches. And also now you know a little bit more about Thomas's hearing loss. The headaches one is like such a big one for me and how much water I drink. I got some comments the other night in my video where I was saying I want to drink three and a half liters of water a day, saying like that's too much. Um, I really notice a difference in my health drinking that much water and my skin. Like people always say to me like, oh, you have such great skin, which never did. Um, but the water for sure helps my headaches. Like all I drink is maybe two cups of coffee, maybe water all day. Tonight I had an herbal tea, so. Um, I drink alcohol maybe once every two months, maybe, I'm boring. That's another topic we could discuss. Um, I've kind of stopped drinking since Jeremy died. Um, we could talk about that. Any grief topics? I know you guys enjoyed what I talked about when I set, did that video about the first week after he passed away. Oh, I was going to show you something, since you're here and I'm here, and I've been getting questions about what highlight I wear. You Can you still? No, that's just oily face. Um, I wear the Becca highlight. So I get so many questions, people saying like, I love your highlight. Where are you? Who is she? What's happening? There we go. I don't know why I need to talk. This is in Champagne Pop. This is what it looks like. That's it for today's video. Please lace up and become a marathon or subscribe to my channel if you have any other questions. You can always tweet me, DM me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. If there's anything else you want me to talk about. Um, there's a really nice comment. Some just really good stuff going on the marathon or Facebook group, which makes me really happy. Like people posting stuff and then other marathoners giving them support, which I just 
makes me so happy. And then another woman saying that she did yoga for the first time um, since her mom passed away, and that made me really happy. <sighs> She's, you guys are so great. Since we're in my bathroom, I keep meaning to tell you about this too. This is a rambly end to my video. These are great. The Marcel Makeup Remover Pads. They just look like this. They're soft on one side and like a little bit exfoliant on the other side. 85 waterproof gentle makeup remover pads. Non-greasy. And then all the good things. Marcel is the same brand of foundation that I use. But these are fabulous. Like when I was using, sorry, let me rephrase that. Because I use waterproof mascara, um, these are great. They don't sting my eyes at all. Like I swear I could rub my actual eyeball with this and it wouldn't hurt. Not that I would. Not that I'm telling you to do that. So I just use these just for my waterproof mascara. And they work like a charm. All right. That's it. Please lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to my channel. Oh God. <laughs> Gonna wash my face and go to bed. Thanks for watching. <laughs> these make me look scary. Uh, I really appreciate you and all your comments and all of your comments to one another. Like the fact that we're building this marathoner community brings me joy to no end. And it means a lot to me that you appreciate my vulnerability and in return I appreciate yours. And it's so great to me. <sighs> I could go on and on. This is very rambly. I already said that that you get something out of my videos and then you also like take that and you try and apply it to your own life. Like that makes me so flippin' happy because I just want everyone to feel like they're not alone and I want everyone to know that they deserve the best future and they deserve the best in life. So <sighs> you're great. Thank you for watching and uh, life's on a sprint. It's a marathon and this fresh face will see you tomorrow. Probably still wearing this shirt. Bye.